Liberal National Senator Gerard Rennick has told Sky News that he doesn't believe his controversial stance on vaccine mandates contributed to his loss at Senate pre-selection. He failed to secure the support of his own party for a spot on the LNP Upper House ticket at the State Council in Brisbane. Despite selling himself as the LNP's best chance of winning a third seat in the Senate, Jared Rennick's political future has been dashed by his own party. How are you feeling? No, fine. Are you upset or disappointed? No, oh, look, you know, pretty relaxed. The controversial Liberal senator has been kicked off the LNP Senate ticket, meaning he won't be given the opportunity to run for another term in the Upper House. Former LNP Treasurer Stuart Fraser will replace him in the third of six spots on the ticket. I think it's always surprising when people give that amount of confidence in you um, and support, so definitely surprised. Jared Rennick has been highly controversial since being elected to the Senate in 2019. He ran a voting blockade against the Morrison government over vaccine mandates during the pandemic. Do you think your stance on vaccine mandates may have had a role in your loss? Uh, no, I think that what I did was show compassion to people. My, my role is to serve the people and I don't apologise for that. Senators Paul Scar and Susan McDonald retained spot one and two respectively. Both paid tribute to Senator Rennick. He has made an outstanding contribution representing the people of Queensland. Yeah, he's a great fellow and a good friend. The LNP only won two Senate seats in Queensland at last year's federal election when former Senator Amanda Stoker lost her position. This pre-selection is about putting forward a strong team in pursuit of a third Senate seat at the next poll. That poll can be held any time between August next year and May 2025. Lucy Gray, Sky News, Brisbane.